हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन योर पीडिया दिस साइड मुकेश सर फ्रॉम सी एस सी डिपार्टमेंट माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर गेट टू जीरो टू फोर नाउ दिस टाइम गेट अनाउंस अ न्यू टेस्ट पेपर दैट इज डेटा साइंस एंड आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इट्स अ बिग न्यूज और आई कैन से वेरी गुड अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू to apply or to go with data science and artificial intelligence paper why gate announced this new subject or paper as you know in the tech era of or i can say in the era of artificial intelligence almost all the iits or the premium institutes of india already started a new branch that is either data science either ai either ml data analytics or all this stuff so as we know if we talk about the era of like 90s to 2000 we have era of like oops concept c c++ or java i can say then 2010 onwards the boom is regarding the android technologies and now the boom is related to artificial intelligence and it will stay with upcoming 15 to 20 years fine my dear students that's why gate community analyze the importance of ai and data science that's why they included this year a paper that is data science and artificial intelligence now student community has a confusing regarding the syllabus and which branch apply with data science and ai paper so if we talk about computer science electronics electrical mechanical mathematics stats physics so these are some of the branches they can apply or they can go with this paper in gate 2024 that is for data science and artificial intelligence but as gate or if you visit the gate url you cannot see the syllabus of data science and ai but with my past experience of data science and ai field so i am presuming some of the syllabus or i can say this is a tentative syllabus or i can say mostly all these topics are included in your gate syllabus so the requirement of ai or the era of in the era of ai it's very important or it's very crucial to include this subject now why other than core csc branch why other student apply for data science and ai paper first of all this is a era of ai second placement opportunities as you know if you are from if you are doing your masters or higher degree in the field of ai and data science then you are equally eligible in all the companies all the tech companies which are basically related to csc and if we talk about the past placement record of all the nits or iits which already started ai and data science or i can say machine learning or data analytics program so you can see the placement on an average placement is 18 to 20 lakh so if you are from physics background mathematics background stats background or mechanical background triple e background ec background so you people have a great opportunity if you write this exam you can include this paper as a first paper or second paper accordingly whatever they are mentioning in the browser you can go with that part but in this video i am trying to discuss the tentative syllabus of ds and ai and one more thing my dear students as we already visited as your pedia team already visited iit mandi iit gandhinagar iit ropert and with the discussion and by analyzing all these stuffs we we already assume that yes within one or two year this paper may be included but yes from the 2000 2024 yes ai and data science is there so my dear students your pedia team already started working in this field and now within 
I can say within 5 or 10 days, we are going to launch a complete detailed module because we know because you are people, you are the people from the mechanical background, maths background, stats background, ECE background. So, we have to start the preparation from very scratch point. Fine. So, your PDA team already work, work in this field, in this area and soon we are going to launch the GATE 2024 data science and AI module. So, if you want to write the paper in this paper, um, GATE 2024 in this paper, data science and AI and if you want to prepare for this program, then you can join and we are welcome you to join our module that is dedicated data science and AI module. So, here the tentative syllabus for data science and AI are. First of all, if you want to go with data science, the first thing requirement is the basics or the coding part or the coding skills. Now, we have two main languages, one is R and one is Python. But in the market right now, Python is at its peak level. So, we assume that yes, Python is in your syllabus. So, here is the first subject which are in the syllabus of data science and AI will be basics of Python. Here you have to learn basic operators, how to write the loops, how to write the conditional statements, then we have to deal with the logic operations, then we have to deal with list, tuple, then dictionary part. Then how different packages we can import and next is different modules. Next, you have to go with the basics of OOPS concept that is object oriented programming concept. Here you can learn en encapsulation, inheritance, polymorphism, class, object and data abstractions. And the next part is the advanced part of Python that is NumPy, Pandas and some libraries which are used to represent you are plotting the graphs that is matplot and seaborn. So, <clears throat> next part is the next subject which is very important for data science and AI is statistics. In stats, we go with mean, median, mode, variance, state and deviations. Here we can also learn normal distribution. Next, the most important part is testing, test hypothesis. We have different type of test, G test, T test and we have to deal with the tail parts also. Fine. And this part is very, very important if you are go with the data science, data analytics, data engineering part. We have to find out different type of errors. Which type of error is it? Is it type 1 error, type 2 error? We have to define the interval. What is the actual confidence interval? So, this part is very, very important. Next, if we go with the next part, in again, we have some regression technique. R technique, R square method, ANOVA method, correlations, all these stuffs. So, I can say stats part is very, very important. The first part is Python. In Python, we have three levels, basic, OOPS and then related to data science. In the second part, the stat part and next EDA part. In EDA part, we have to define the data visualization how to find out the missing value, how to deal with the missing values in terms, then how to make a matrix matrices and analyze the data and make a conclusion from that data and the how to detect the outliers and we have to see the effect of those outliers. Can we remove always the outliers? Yes or no? We will deal with that part. Then third subject I can say is discrete mathematics because we are going to deal with the numerical or quantity part. So, discrete mathematics is very important for data science and data analytics part. In discrete, as if you are CSC background students, you know what, what are the main topics in discrete. But if we talk about the EC electrical mechanical physics some students, so here we are going to discuss 
the, the first one is very important prepositional and first order logic because we have to make the inf inferences from the statements and next set relation functions next important part is permutation and combinatory part that is very very important next if we talk about the engineering mathematics yes engineering method is very very important for data science and ai the first part is probe next is calculus and the most important part is linear algebra that is the base i can say the root of data science and ai so in engineering mathematics we have like main three subjects now move on the ai part in ai we have to go with the basics of ai what do you mean by agent what do you mean by environment then we have to solve the problems by searching method we have different pruning methods alpha beta pruning we have constraints problems how to solve a problem when we have specific constraints given on that problem then we have branch bound gradient descent method and all this stuff so as we know i just included the headings of all this stuff but in subheadings or i can say the subtopics are very huge so i am not including here all those topics but still the main part is of ai is this one only fine and i can say this is not as that much complex part fine next we have go with machine learning in machine learning we have to go with the basics of machine learning what are different regression technique linear regression classification regression then clustering supervised unsupervised then performance then boosting bagging all this stuff next we have to go with the deep learning also in deep learning we have cnn method rnn method then we have like short term term memory method time series forecasting method rn that recurrent neural network method auto encoder and then stack auto encoder and regularization so these are the main topics in deep learning next we have to go with the nlp natural language processing here we have basic terms applications text mining text classification sentence structure sequence tagging task and semantic and vector space method so these are most important yes i am writing here the headings so not included the sub part because sub part is somewhat very lengthy chapters we have many many simple simple terms and different different methods that's why i am not including all this stuff here next the most important again the one of the most important part is data structure part with python so here we have to include array linked list tree and graph next we have to go with the design and analysis of algorithm or i can say algorithm part where we are going to discuss searching sorting divide and conquer technique greedy technique and dynamic programming next the most important again one of the most important part is database management system even though if you are from the csc background you know some of the basic terminology related to database management system but don't worry about my dear students if you are from the non csc background we will start our module from the basics or from the scratch so here the main or the most important part is sql we are start from the scratch of the sql then day by day we move or increase our levels and and with the advanced advanced sql part and including the all the functions and the optimization here i am writing basics of dbms which include how to create a table what are the different entries in a table what do we mean by key how to make a table how how to write the attributes of a table fine and what are the characteristics or i can see the properties of these tables or these attributes so we have to go with all this stuff why there is a requirement of indexing again we are going to include in the part of basics of dbms so my dear students don't worry about that because it seems like it's related to more or less like the computer science branch but no we are going to start from the scratch here we are going to learn the basics python us concept advanced python machine learning deep learning ai neural network nlp and then we are going to discuss about the discrete math engineering math then we go with the stats part dbms part so these are some of the topics which make which we like we assume that yes these topics are be the part of 
the tentative or I can say the upcoming DS and AI syllabus. So my dear students, why you go with the, this part or this paper? The only reason is the demand of the market. Right now, there is a lot of vacancies or recruitment is going on with a good salary package. So if you are from the non CSC background, if it's you have a great opportunity. You have to write or you must write, I can say this paper, the data science and AI part, AI paper, fine. But the point is you have to start from the scratch, start as early as possible. And if you want to prepare, your PDA is with you. Your PDA soon starting their live batches, which are totally a dedicated batch, fine. So you will get be updated soon. And if you have any query related to data science and AI part, then you can contact to your PDA team. So with this, I want to end up this session and in the next video, when they release the complete detail um, syllabus, we'll go with that. So my dear students, it's a great opportunity. Don't skip this opportunity and please start your preparation as early as possible. And if you have any query, please contact to your PDA team. Thank you so much. Thank you.